Hello, Stony fam. I wanted to hop on and say hello. It's been quite a bit since I have talked on here, and I think that you guys deserve, you know, a little kind of update and to know that I'm alive. <laughs> well, I mean, sure, you've seen my posts and everything like that, but I haven't been on here anyway. I haven't been active. It's just something that I kind of do when I feel like it. So if you've been listening for a while, you kind of know how the jazz is. But anyway, I've been smoking on some wedding cake, feeling really good. I'm actually quite relaxed. It's been kind of hard for me to be able to talk almost because I've just been wanting to just zone out and uh, just relax. But anyway, that's a really good strain. Speaking of, I have a book in front of me here with some really good strains I wanted to share with you guys before I give some updates. So anyway, here's one that I found that's really good. It's a nice hybrid called Love Bud. It's made cross with Juicy Fruit and this strain called Norton. Interesting. Haven't tried that. It's like 18 to 22% THC. Can taste a lot like pineapple, mango, berry, and like coconut. Kind of like some diesel undertones to it. I've not yet tried it, but it sounds sounds pretty good. And then this other one called Dreamcatcher, which is a 60-40%, like indica, very more indica. It's got blackberry, I'm sorry, blueberry crossed with black domina and blue chronic. And that one's more earthy and fruity and kind of like spicy. And for terpenes, it has humanoline, limonene, and linalool, as well as this other one I cannot pronounce. I'm not even going to try to. And it kind of supposed to make you feel like a euphoric happiness, cerebral happiness as well, uplifting. And helps with chronic stress, insomnia, depression, migraines, headaches, chronic anxiety. So that one can be very helpful as well as sounds wicked cool and is an indica. So definitely my vibe. I could be reading a bunch more strains here to you guys. I do have more that I'd like to share. But this episode is going to be very, very, very short. I only wanted to update you guys. Maybe give you a little quick, uh, little quick couple strains that I wanted to share with you guys that I've been like looking at that I really wanted to try. And, um... Let you guys know kind of what's been going on. So, real quick, I have I have moved. I have had a lot of things going on in my family life. My basically like my relationships with others, just a lot going on. Some positive, some negative, as life can be. But it's just been harder for me to hop on and do these types of podcasts because I was really lacking the motivation to to really keep up with this. So. That is kind of going to be cha- has been changing. I've been switching up gears, and like I said prior a while ago, that there would probably be other people hopping in and talking with me. That's going to be potentially happening very very soon, which is also why I wanted to cut this short. So I'm super duper excited about that if that happens because it's something that I've been really excited to be doing, and this person that I'd be hopefully be working with is an amazing person, super knowledgeable, beautiful, awesome all around, and I think everybody would be very pleased to hear from them. So. That's all I'm going to say, so I don't give anything else away or, you know. But that's what I wanted to share. On top of it, I've been super, I don't know if anyone else can tell, but I've been, like, obsessed back again with Hello Kitty since I went to the cafe. It was so fun to go to that little truck and get all those little goodies, and it was just so much fun. I wish I could go and do it again uh, a lot sooner than it probably would take, because I'm assuming it would probably be another year till they come back around, but it was very, very fun, and I had a really good time. And it kind of brought back all those emotions that I had when I was younger. So it it was just really fun to kind of feel youngish again and bring myself back into that excitement and enjoyment of like what you would feel when you were younger, when you were getting stuff that you really enjoyed. And it doesn't necessarily have to mean that way for you. You could just be passionate about that, whatever it may be. But for me, it was just that and on top of that, because I, when I was younger, I didn't really get to have... A collection of anything that I really enjoyed so as I got older I kind of started collecting things that I was able to finally do so uh, that I wasn't when I was younger so that of which would be one of them so that's all I wanted to share with you guys I'm going to hop off I have a lot of things to do today but that's what I wanted to share with you guys and thank y'all for listening I really do love everybody that does listen hops in tunes in hope that you all have an amazing day and stay choking stay stoned and uh It's good talking to you guys, and I'll be back very soon.